Here at Ford's Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, there's a charge in the air. The new F-150 Lightning pickups are rolling off the line and headed to homes where buyers of the country's best-selling truck are plugging into the electrified future of driving. I'm Kieran Chetri, your host, as we meet the highly specialized workers who have assembled a new vision for automotive manufacturing. Welcome to the United States of Automation, EV Edition. It doesn't get more American than Ford. And the industry it represents is facing possibly its biggest disruption since Henry Ford rolled out the Model T in 1908. Automakers are on pace to invest half a trillion dollars over the next five years to fill garages and driveways with EVs. That means vehicle factories are in for major upgrades, like the ones Ford has undertaken here at what plant workers call the Rev C. Tell us a little bit about the significance of this River Rouge complex for Ford. It's so phenomenal. It's having this new building, this new product built on the historic site. We no longer have the traditional assembly line on the command system. Each and every unit is built on its own individual AGV or automatic guided vehicle. And so you just have a lot of flexibility from an ergo standpoint, for the standpoint of the people to make sure they can build it correctly. How does the automation make a difference for the customer that's going to be buying the F-150 Lightning? The automation doesn't get tired. It'll do the same thing all day, every day, repeatedly. So they're getting a truck with tighter tolerances. They're getting everything checked more carefully than they would have in the past. How would the workers um, on the floor embrace the new technologies and the automation? I think they love it. It makes their job easier. In terms of big automation, people aren't doing really heavy lifting or really challenging tasks ergonomically anymore. Everything from the digital zone boards, the digital tablets, from the workstation, we're paperless and everything is more automated to where there's constant communication, whether it's with MPNL organization, with the maintenance team, or even with their supervisor process coach. With all of these moving parts, factories of the future don't have seconds to spare. To help build the F-150 Lightning, Ford and AT&T are outfitting the Rouge plant with highly secure, next generation, 5G cellular connectivity. 5G is incredibly important for the future of manufacturing because as things start to happen a lot quicker, you want to make sure you have the right technology that can keep up with your robots. But also, it helps revitalize facilities where you have existing older technology. Bringing in 5G can help offload some of your newer components to the factory without making those incredibly difficult changes. For your greenfield facilities, that gives you an opportunity to set up the most advanced technology and connectivity, and nothing that you're doing in the factory can happen without connectivity. The privacy aspect of a private 5G network is beautiful because any of the data that you generate within the four walls of your facility will stay there. Additionally, any of the data that you collect from your robots on site hits your server that's also on site, allowing you to make decisions with that data in near real time. This is uh, our flex and spec system. We have a robot vision system on it that checks all those connections. And if it's anything that it doesn't like, it says, hey, double check this, they'll do that. And what's really neat about it is we have a lot of checking at the end of the line, but then it's a lot harder to fix after it's fully built. So we're pushing that technology upstream into the process at various points. This blue and gray robot is a collaborative robot. It actually has a sensitive skin. If I were to walk up to it and touch it while it's running, it would stop. It knows I'm there and it won't hurt me. The way I think about a cobot versus a, an actual robot is these are robots there to help humans. You want to make sure that you're keeping your workforce safe and repetitive jobs also cause the most injuries. But it will go into the bed of the truck, it will push down on the box bolts with a certain percentage of the payload on the truck. Then the truck knows that this much displacement in my suspension is equal to this much weight. So it calibrates it for that specific truck. 
As an employer, if you can move people from those redundant jobs into more thought-provoking jobs, that's advantageous for you as a business. And then lastly, it really helps with the small movements that you need to make and making sure that you're supervising those activities properly and using the humans that you have in your facility in the best way possible. How is automation going to become part of Ford's long-term strategy? I mean, we're always looking for opportunities to improve safety, quality, or efficiency. And one opportunity for us is to leverage the product's technology and use that technology of the vehicle and synthesize it with the technology in the plant and work in harmony. And as electric vehicles accelerate toward the American mainstream, this collaboration between highly skilled people and their automated tools is proving more powerful than ever.